Around here, these fish, they're gonna be anywhere from uh, right in the shadows to around the edges to there's some real nice potholes out here outside these docks and some of my nicer fish have been hooked away from the structure. How deep of water we got underneath around the docks? Docks gonna be anywhere four to six feet under the docks near the back there. Uh, you may be treading water if you hook something big and have to chase it, but I'm more than happy to root you on. I'll go get my boat and watch you from out there and you can hop in my boat if you want, you know, and stuff like that. <laughs> I'll cheer you on. Well, I can tell you, I'm, I'm glad I got a little undershirt on because this water's still a little bit it's a little cool. nippy. Mm, what a cast, what a cast. If I get snagged out there, will you go get my lure? Sure. Thank you. There could be some decent fish just under the length of dock. A lot of times people are always looking at the end of the dock where that bigger shadow is, but if you got some moving tide right along the shadow line, there could be some real nice fish anywhere along here. Mm. Oh, I just felt a nibble. Oh, there's a fish right there. That was, uh, that's, that's a nice a, trout, isn't it? I can't tell if it's a trout or a snook yet. I think it's a trout. Nope, no, it's, it's a, a snook, snook trout. Yeah, it's it's a snook trout. <laughs> That's just not right. <laughs> it's always right, brother, especially when they eat these things. Yeah. Not too bad to start the day off. What was that, first cast? Uh, I think it was like second or third on that lure that you just love so much. <laughs> yeah, if they'll eat that, shoot, I can catch one on anything. There we go, first nook of the morning. Well, welcome to this episode of Addictive Fishing. We're down here in Stewart, Florida, home of the lovely snook and the home of uh, DOA Lures too. And uh, speaking of DOA Lures, we got Captain Mark Nichols with us, owner and inventor of these lovely lures that catch all these nice fish. Yeah, I was lost. I just wandering around in the water out here. I saw you guys, you know, yeah. I figured I'd fish with you for a while. Come over What's and uh, catch a snook on the, uh, the $100,000 lure, what I like to call it. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna be right back with some more addictive fishing. Captain Mark Nichols right here in Stewart. There you go. Oh, found the schoolies again, huh? Uh, mine's a bigger schoolie. And oh, yours, and here's pretty. So even if it's windy, they still gotta eat, right? Yeah, sometimes they even eat better because they hadn't been hassled quite so much. Yeah. Well, welcome back. We're still sitting here working these potholes out in front of these docks. Sun's getting warm, so hopefully we're gonna show you a, a great big fat snook here pretty soon. I'll settle for a little six or seven pound trout, or I wouldn't mind a nice big flounder either. You can have good. a big snook and I'll be happy for you. I'd be real happy. I'll go add a boy and all that good stuff. <laughs> I'll high five you. Try to make it over 15 pounds, really, to make it worthwhile, though, if you would. I'll do my best. Okay. There you go. Oh! Found the schoolies again, huh? Uh, mine's a bigger schoolie. And oh, yours, and yours pretty, pretty thumpy. Mine's a little bigger than yours. You got a good one? Not big. This one here's a real good one. Not as fish. Mine's bigger. This one here is a real good one. Oh, yours is a little better than this one. Mine's bigger. We might just think he is. Oh yeah. So they're pretty darn close, aren't they? They are pretty darn close. Yeah, these are good solid fish here. Did you tie that shrimp back? No, you stay yeah, with the, uh... still throwing the cow. Mine was inspired to eat because yours did. <laughs> Isn't that weird how you'd be sitting there not catching a thing, not catching a thing, and then it's, all of a sudden, boom, boom, you get a double? You know, to me, it's just, I've seen it so many times. I think they put that pulse out in the water. These are nice fish here. Absolutely Ain't beautiful. shabby fish. at all. Absolutely beautiful, aren't they? They're gorgeous fish. Good, solid fish, too. These sure. fish look very healthy. One of my favorites. Yeah, those don't have any lesions on them. Nah. <laughs> Go get them. See you later, Good buddy. Job. Good job. I bet you know these lures really do work. I, I, you know, I thought it was just a rumor, you know. <laughs> We've moved positions. You can see that wind was absolutely howling on us. We had a squall coming up on us, so we moved way north 
came up about 15 miles north here near uh, Fort Pierce. Let's see what we can do up here. Actually it turned out to be a real nice day. It's turned out beautiful now, isn't it? A little bit of bait out here, huh? Yes, sir. This is like a hump on the east side of this bar and these mullet, especially when this tide is like this, it's high tide, they're all up on top of here hiding as best they can. When this water starts to move, these predators will start really getting aggressive around the edges of this thing. Starting to finally feel fishy today, sir. Oh, I seen that come after you bait, whatever it was. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Big blue fish. Yeah, it is. <laughs> he come up and just inhaled that thing. Yeah, he did. Serious blue fish. Yeah, he looked like a real one. He wasn't in any big hurry. He just got a scarf. What is, is that a red? No, no, it's not red. It's, it's not a blue. blue fish either. What? That's a big pompano. That's a giant pompano. Big pompano. <laughs> holy cow. That's a really large pomp. I was going to say that, but look holy at that moly. thing. Bring that sucker over here. Yes, sir. That's, That's the size of a permit. It is a big old pomp, isn't it? Cool. cool. That's a world record pompano. That's a big pomp right there. World record, but it's a real fish. I would think this one's gonna go to Mark Nichols' freezer, isn't it? Eh, it won't <laughs> make it to the freezer. It'll make it to the grill tonight, perhaps. That is a beautiful pomp. Oh, that's a nice size pomp, isn't it? That's hey, funny. it's just a jack. It's just a jack. It's just a jack. Silvery one. These look good, too. Ooh! He didn't like me touching it. No, they don't like it when you grab their tail. Something about that. That fish. Groovy. Hey. Closest thing to a to a permit. Mm-hmm. But tastier. Yeah. Well, that's the first time I've ever seen a pompano caught on a bait buster. And he is caught. <laughs> cool. I tell you, these things look so much like a permit tough to tell the difference. I know the, uh, what is it, the, the regulations on these, you're allowed one pompano slash permit over 20 inches. Correct. And, I'd uh, say that's over 20 there, ain't it? That is right about 22, mm -hmm. 23 inches. Like that is the biggest per or pompano I think I've ever seen. That's, that's a monster. That's linear. It's interesting how, you know, yeah, he's, he's not very, uh, he's not he's, real rounded. He's very linear for a pomp. It's unusual. Took it right at the boat too. Yeah, we saw. We thought it was a bluefish. If you look at him, he's long and skinny. He's not like your normal pompano. Had that blue look to him. We were talking about those earlier, Blair, about how you know they're raising them and stuff. They they propagate like rabbits. They pull super hard. They taste great. Just a great fish for the recreational fisherman. You know, September they get up around my neck of the woods and we we'll just idle along in the Indian River. And if you start seeing them skip in your wake behind on. you, right, turn right around and. You got a little trick now. It's a, uh, it's yeah. the it's the yellow pinch weight on a uh, oh. J hook, and you just throw it out and twitch it back, and those pompano just they jump all over it. Out. it. Exactly. They're a lot of fun. Yeah, it's like we're off the spot. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna reposition the boat, get back in position, see if we can show you another fish. We'll be right back. Yeehaw! There he is, right there. Oh yeah, baby, that's a trout. That is a nice trout, dude. I'm telling you, that's a nine, ten pound trout, maybe. Oh, nice fish. You seeing something? Thought I saw a tail out of the water for a second. Well, welcome back, folks. What we're doing, the wind's kind of kicked up on us a little bit. We jumped out of the boat, and we're just wading around on all these little potholes out here next to the bridge. Anybody knows uh, the Stewart area, you know what bridge we're at? Yeah, fishy, fishy. Here, giant smoking fishy. Wading around all these little high spots, hitting all the little indentions with these shrimp, popping them in and out, seeing what happens. Two big red fish, three big red fish, right here. Where'd they go? They're right here. 
There he is right there. Oh yeah, baby, that's a trout. That is a nice trout, dude. I'm telling you, that's a nine, 10 pound trout maybe. Oh, nice fish. Okay, nice fish. maybe he's gonna shrink a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still a monster trout. It's still a big fish. I mean, a m that's a trout doing this, guys. I think I got yours beat, Mark. I uh, oh, that's a pretty good fish. Look at him wallowing around like a big old alligator. Maybe why you call him gator trout? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, nice fish. That nice one right fish. there, brother, is a trout and a half. Oh yeah, baby. He can bite me if he wants to. This size trout. I don't want to get my fingers in. Yeah, watch his mouth there. There you oh. go. <laughs> That's what you call a caught fish there, brother. Nice! Sweet. Sweet. Oh, 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 easy, 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 easy. I want to show you all. I'll do it this There's way. Good 28 inch fish. Easy. I can't even grab the thing. Come here. Come here. That's the trout. That's, That's the Mogan trout that I was That is a Mogan trout there. right there. What do you think? 29 inches long? Yeah, probably 29 right 29, there. 29, 30 inches? Woo, baby. Look at it, he got me, he bit me, I don't care. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that fish there could bite me, uh, nobody's you know gonna, where. <laughs> nobody's gonna wow. feel sorry for you on that. Look at that beautiful fish. They're so nice. You wanna get that hook out? Sure. There we go, ready, one, two, three, pop. <sighs> nice. Sweet. Fellers, Nice. y'all get down here to Stewart and catch you a big old trout like that. Take that fish more that way. That there you go, beauty. get us back. Do a couple of drops with it. Absolute beauty. Gorgeous fish. Look at it, it's right there. There's that fish. You should be able to almost get her. I can see her great from here. Look at that fish. Not a bad fish. <laughs> Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. You think? Look, I had my reel soaking underneath the water. Are you sure those were red fish when you said those red fish went think, over? Are you sure that wasn't three was, trout? I think it was three big trout. Yeah, they, I sure, too. They, they were huge. Yeah. They were monsters. You think yeah. there's another one sitting over there? I do. I do. I do. I do believe there is because there was three and, big ones over there. You know, you were asking me, Blair. You were saying, "Why do you like to get out of the boat?" You hooked that fish right oh, there. You hooked that fish five feet away. Five from feet me. away from you. And that's just you I can't. I saw him come up and eat it. That is so cool. I thought it was one of those reds at first, and then I see that <laughs> all those spots, and I was like, uh, "It's a trout." Now y'all see why I like to catch big trout. It gets my blood pumping. Mm -hmm. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some more addictive fishing. Captain Mark Nichols right here in Stewart. But it's a nice trout. Burying in the grass. Here it goes. There's a fish. All right, double. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. On today's episode, I'm going to show you what Mark and I were out there throwing today. The DOA shrimp. And the two main colors that we're working for us today was the 309 and the 425. What I like to call either the cotton shrimp or basically it's a green holographic shrimp. It was the first lure Mark made when he started DOA lures. It worked great back then and it's working awesome today. Now the line we're throwing out there today, I was throwing the XS and Mark was throwing the wind tamer. The Finn's wind tamer worked so well, especially when that wind kicked up on Mark today. It was absolutely blowing the line all over the place. Wasn't getting the wind knots like he would if he was throwing another braid out there. I stayed with the XS. It's a nice smooth line. Just absolutely got the job done. And as always, we're throwing Seaguar fluorocarbon leader, throwing 20 pound test. And this is the Premier. It happens to be a little bit more limber. The water was a little bit chilly today, so we wanted as limber as possible just to give those lures more lifelike action. And the rods we're throwing out there today, both of them were 7.6s. I was throwing the one piece 7.6, had it rigged up with a 3500 Sabalos reel. Definitely getting the job done for me today out there. Mark was also throwing a 7.6, but brand new from Wright McGill, it's the 7.6 travel rod. They make it in a casting model and a spinning model. They're both 7.6s, and I, I tell you what, you will forget that this is a three-piece rod. I want to say thanks to Mark Nichols for putting us on those fish. What do y'all see what's coming up? It's going to be another first for addictive fishing. Remember one thing though, every fishing season starts right here at Dick's. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel.
We traveled from Stewart to Fort Pierce with this rod and it's still in one piece. Obviously it travels well. What do you think the advantages are, Mark, of getting out of the boat like we're doing? Silence. Silence? No noise. You can walk. You're not creating any hull slap against your legs. We're in very shallow water. It gives us a chance to walk up to these fish, whereas if I were in my boat, I'd be drifting fairly quickly. We got a strong wind. It's much harder control. You can't stop your boat on a dime like we can stop on a dime. Another thing too, here we can really pick these places apart, you know, and a day like today where you got this pretty strong breeze, if you're in a boat, even if you stop your boat in time, you're still gonna have some hull slap and you'll have a couple shots maybe and then you're done. And just the pure love of fishing when you hook that trout or that big snook when you're like this, it's just, for a fishing freak like we are, it's just cool. <laughs> There's fish. There you go. Hello. Oh, oh, no. Shrimp? Yeah, I'm not sure what that was, but yeah, it didn't feel like it did anything wrong on that. But I did. Love that feel. Fish there on. Is. That looks like a big trout there. It's a nice trout. I don't know how big, but it's a nice trout. Burying in the grass. There it goes. There's a fish. All right, double. That's oh, a snook. It's tough that when you got a snooky. double like this. What you got there, Mr. Nichols? I think I got a big trout here, sir. Or at least a good trout. I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's quite got Mogan status, but it might. Oh, this is a trout, dude. I've got a big trout. This is a big trout. I've got a big trout. You too. got a bigger trout. <laughs> oh, yeah? Look at these two <laughs> trout. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. What a Come difference. here, dude. Now, that's a double right here. That's a true double. <laughs> All right, you folks in Texas? Yeah. This, <laughs> they got shoulders on them, too. See? Oh, and he just got Indian away. River trout. Here, let me get this guy. Go ahead. <laughs> easy. Easy. Easy, dude. Easy, 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 easy. You be easy. I think you got me by about a pound. That's a heavy fish right there. What a gorgeous trout. Got him. All right. He's a done fish. <laughs> I said he's a done fish. Yes, sir. That's the Mogan we are looking the for. Mogan right trout there. right there, Mr. We Davis. had a double on that fish Ooh, right there. We had a double trout that size right there. Wow. That could That's what you back. come to Stewart, Florida for That's, right there. That was beautiful fish. That's the way that's supposed to happen. Beautiful. For all y'all folks out there that are as freaky as I am about a big giant gator trout like this. Now uh, we Get you a DOA shrimp and come to Stewart. What a beauty. What a nice double. That was a beautiful double. Yeah, let that baby swim away. She's, she needs to make babies. Sure Look is. at that. Oh! Gorgeous. You know, my dad's gonna say, how can you let that big trout go? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a trout dream. Look at that, it's still right at your feet. There's Look he. at it. Yep, just sitting on the bridge. It's there, happy. There you go. Zoom. Look at it right there. Kicked again. Yeah, it's cool the way they looks like she's chewing on your toes. That's what's awesome is that yeah they chew on your toes and you, to you're in zero you water. Those toes. Yeah, <laughs> it's got to be it's got to be a brave fish. It just shows fish will eat anything. That's true. <laughs> hey, don't forget about the website addictivefishing.com. Got the new Mogan Lounge up there. Share your stories, share your fish pictures, and just shoot share life if you want to. I don't care. <laughs> just share. Just share. We'll mm -hmm. see y'all next week. Bye. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to AddictiveFishing.com uh -oh. for outtakes and bloopers. Is that going to happen? Oh, oh, man. Hello down there. <laughs> there you go. Hello. Oh, oh, no. Blues are good fighting. Oh, there's one right there. It's a dead gum lady fish.